Where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I know, but mom, don't we owe it to grandpa to... Yeah, I know, it's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay, okay, whatever, it's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then, I don't know, we can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah, bye. I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. All right, let's do this. I have always loved the British countryside. <sighs> it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. Nah, I don't feel like reading up on kings, countries, or history right now. Ah, the old gramophone. Travel diary. Seems like a few. It's a banker's lamp. Pele, goddess of fire. Why was Grandpa researching her life? Yeah. Enough of that. It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. A desk drawer. This seems to belong to the diary. Oh, Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? A desk drawer. Celtic Myths and Legends The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell Fairies by Brian Froud and Alan Lee <sighs> It's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. It looks like a torn out page. A tape recorder. Hello, this is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. So if anyone else is listening, they can Sort off immediately, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Sarah, if you are listening to this, then it means... Well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grand moments. All the adventures we had with you were a little one, and I wasn't such a cranky old man. I... I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother, but there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves, and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... <sighs> I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it, it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help. But I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. 
the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame. All you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Goodbye, Grandpa. Does this globe have anything to do with Grandpa's message? What did the message say again? The world is full of secrets? From the tallest tree to the deepest river. In every breath of wind and... It's an old table lamp. It's a small, simple key. Maybe it fits the desk. A typewriter. This looks like one of the diary pages. My grandfather's grandfather clock. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a... There is no way I can pick this up. Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. Grandpa loved this thing. Told me it was one of a kind. Although, he never actually told me why. The key I have must fit elsewhere. Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. <sighs> it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. Celtic myths and legends. Whoa. This looks like it belongs in a museum. Nuh-uh. I've watched too many movies to go about stealing ancient relics. It's a chessboard, with the game already in progress. There's no one to play. And I'm not sure I even know the proper rules. These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? Fairies. By Brian Froud and Alan Lee. A desk drawer. Hmm, what's this? An open desk drawer. Huh. This tin box looks fairly old and has a combination lock on it. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Huh? What could. Okay, Grandpa. I need a clue to unlock this box. So if you're here. Guess I'll have to work it out myself then. Hmm, what's this? Could this be one of the diary pages? That's a really nice... binocular. <laughs> Monocular? Um... Oh 
man. My old A station. I spent hours playing games on this thing. Damn, the adapter's missing. Probably for the best. I wouldn't get anything done today if I started playing. Hey, Mr. Piggles. Ah, here's my stuff. I'm not grabbing my stuff until I've made sure I have everything I need in here. It's a landscape painting of Whittington. I am not taking this with me right now. It's a landscape painting of Whittington. I am not taking this with me right now. The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell. Celtic Myths and Legends. Hmm. They come to think of it? Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. Few Sang China. Oh, okay. The could he be referring to these symbols? That's not it. That doesn't seem to be it. Ah, shoot. What did the message say again? looks like... Is this a second part of my necklace? This looks like... Is this a second part of my necklace? Whoa! Whoa. Serious whoa. I can't believe Mom wants to sell this. Hmm... The key I have doesn't fit here. It's locked. Huh. This tin box looks fairly old, and has a combination lock on it. What could the combination be? It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Damn. I was sure that would be it. Maybe I need something else to solve this. Okay, Grandpa. I need a clue to unlock this box. So if you're here... Okay. Huh. This tin box looks fairly old. Hold on. What if I use the necklace?
Okay. It won't budge. I probably need to select the clock hand somehow. Weren't these triangles in the journal pages? It won't budge. It's stuck in place. It won't budge. This Weren't these triangles in the journal pages? It won't budge. I probably need to select the clock hand somehow. It won't budge.
It weighs like 200 pounds. I'd take it if I could. But where in my 18 square meter student apartment would I fit this thing? This clock hand is a triangle facing inwards with a line through it. <laughs> 